Hey everybody, it's Gamalad. Welcome to the start of a brand new Let's Play on this channel. And finally, further to do, let us announce this new Let's Play being... Return the Pope Lacrosse, A Story of Seasons Fairy Tale. Now, before we start into the series, do not worry, Stella Glow will be continued daily until the game is finished. I am actually almost done recording that series, and all of the after game episodes will be recorded as well. So don't worry, these two games will be uploaded simultaneously until Stella Glow is finished, and this will be the main focus on the channel. So, any further to do, let us start this game. I've been looking forward to this game for a long time. Alright, return to Popolacross, a story of Seasons Fairy Tale. Return to Popolacross, a story of Seasons Fairy Tale. Okay, say it, say it for me, I guess I'm saying it wrong, Popolacross. Okay, well, as a matter, let's begin a new game. Okay, um... I don't know which, I, I, I don't know which voice I want to do, I think I'm going to stick to the English for now. Um, and maybe we'll be able to change it later on, but we'll stick to English. Um, we're gonna go with the trace outline on difficulty level. Um, I wish they would show us what the, which each one was. Oh, oh wait, I think we can just listen. Narsha. Prince Pietro? Konnichiwa! Konnichiwa! Nande? Doushita no? Gomen! Sonna! Yatta ne! Tereshi! Narsha. Prince Pietro? Hello. Okay, I think the English is pretty good. Um, let's go with that for now. Encounter rate. Um, let's go with medium. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't want to get into too many enemies, so let's do for that for now. We'll play on English. We'll have trace outline on. Difficulty will be Prince. I don't feel like we need to do Seedling. I know how to play Harvest Moon games. I'm okay with JRPGs, so I'm a bit confident in my skills. And we're going to go with a medium encounter rate. So let's start. All right, so I completed change date during gameplay. Select the data, then game config menu. Okay, cool. All right, chapter one, Season of Shadows. Once upon a time, there stood a small kingdom called Popolacroix. The prince of this kingdom was a boy named Pietro, who was renowned for his good cheer, his courage, and his sense of adventure. A kindly witch girl named Narsha lived in the forest near the castle and became his best friend, helping him save the land. They battled the Gami Gami Devil, who sought world domination. Aiding them in this fight was the pure-hearted White Knight. we 
working together, the three of them managed to defeat Gamigami and were even able to turn him from foe to friend in the end. And thus, peace was restored to Popolacroix, and one story reached its natural, happy conclusion. Now, years later, it is the day of Pietro's 13th birthday, and everyone's gathering to give him their blessings and best wishes. You know what, Mr. Chancellor? I can kind of see why he's hiding from you. It's, just, it's the kid's birthday. He doesn't want to go through all this crap. Yo! He likes you. He confides in you. So surely you must have some idea where he could be. I'm counting on you, Goma. Hmm. Okay, then if I were the prince, where would I sneak off to? I would check under the bed. Are you are we gonna play as Gomer to start out with? Oh, he's by the riverbed. Prince Pietro! Wrong, Prince. Why are you all sulking at this here tree? Oh, Gomer! I didn't see you there. Is something the matter? <sighs> Is something the matter? I'll say something's the matter. The child was besides himself because our guest of honor gone missing. Sorry, I just. Prince! Besides, Wish there have been big, black, scary monsters sighted around in these parts L lately, so you really ain't, ain't safe out here. Kind of odd how he doesn't have all of his lines voiced. Wait, I bet I know what you, what's going on there. Something, someplace you're looking to go before the party starts, ain't there? Oh, this voice is going to kill my throat. Um, yeah. I wanted to go into the forest, but but just for a minute. Oh. Nah, say no more, say no more. It all makes sense now. <laughs> <laughs> Prince, I... It's been an awful long time since you last saw her, after all. She's probably missing you, that Narcia, and you're, and you're sure missing her. Yo! So how long have you been standing here, trying to work up the courage to pay her a visit? You gotta hit the road running, man. What? You mean you let me go? Of course I will. But first things first, you're gonna need a gift. Ain't proper to see someone special after such a long time without one. Uh, well, I did come across some really pretty flowers out here, so I picked a few for her. Oh, and you just gonna give them to her loose like that? You got a lot to learn, Prince. I guess I'm just gonna have to show you the ropes myself. Give me them flowers. Uh. Come on, let's head into town and have ourselves a little chat with the shopkeep. All right, Gomer has joined our party. First party member of, of the game. 
All right, and we have full control now. Okay. Oh, cool. I can use the D-pad. Thank goodness. Um, so we're in the Popola Croix field. I guess our main goal is to go into the and go into the shop. I'm gonna use the C stick. The um D-pad's not the, not the best for this. Ooh, understanding the map. The omnipresent mini mini map shows Pietro's immediate surroundings, marking its locations, as well as any sites of interest in the vicinity, inns, shops, stores, story goals, etc. You can touch the icon depicted on either side of this map on the touch screen to open menu to open menus, view the world map, and more. Okay. Ooh, okay. Press start while journeying to view the world map, which shows the entirety of the land in which Pietro is adventuring. Both his current location and his next story destination are, are marked. And while areas ha he hasn't yet been in will be obscured by a fog, they'll fill in just as the story progresses. Alright, is that it? Alright, cool. So since we have to go to that little uh, flag over here, uh, Jack of All Trades, is that where we have to go? Guess not. Let's go to the Jack of All Trades then. Welcome, welcome. Have a look around. If you see anything you like, feel free to... Uh, Prince Pietro? Today's your birthday, isn't it? Is it uh, okay for you to be here? Hey, he's with me. Actually, I got something to ask you. See, what I'm thinking is... Hmm, okay. So it's a present for... Oh, oh. ah... Aha! I see, I see. Yes, I believe I understand entirely. Just leave everything to me. I'll fix you right up. I, uh, <clears throat> don't know who this is for, of course, but will this do? Have a look. A flower basket fit for a king, or a prince in this case. Only the best to compliment blossoms so fragrant and fair. A fine job as always, my friend. It's on the house. This is a gift from the heart, after all. And one cannot put a price tag on something so sweet. You, you just want to give him a birthday present to suck up to the prince. Don't lie to us. Wow, thank you. All right, receive a flower basket. Awesome. Good thing we came, huh? She's gonna love it. Now, come on. We gotta hurry to the witch's house in Floral Forest, then get you home. Pietro, a very happy birthday to you. Hey, Yasabo. How you doing? Well, now, if it ain't the smartest man in town, what's shaking, Profess? I Professor? I am far from the smartest man in town. No matter how much knowledge I have to impart, I fear I will always lose to the innocent apathy of children. Is something wrong, Sabo? You seem kind of down. Yes, well, the majority of my students fell asleep on me during class today. A disheartening occurrence, if ever there were one. What were you teaching? Dimensional geography of sorts. I was explaining the world tree. World tree? Oh, have I piqued your interest? I'd be happy to tell you a bit about it, if you'd like. Huh? Wait, this ain't no classroom, you know. <laughs> that doesn't matter, Gomer. It sounds interesting. Please, go on. Okay, so this is going to be a bit of a doozy if the voice acting keeps going back and forth like this. We'll see how this goes. Mm. Alright, in that case, <laughs> today's subject will be the World Tree. Born from the Will of Light, the World Tree is, well, it's an enormous tree. And it holds on each of its many branches a world unto itself. Indeed, this world we know is but one of many connected to all of the others through the trunk. Thusly, I'm gonna fall asleep, aren't I? And that's around when I started to hear snoring and mumbling and realize I'd bored the class to sleep. I suppose I'm just not very exciting. That's not true, Sabo. I thought it was really fascinating. I wonder how many worlds there are on the world tree. Mmm, you are a curious one indeed, Prince Pietro. If only the rest of the class shared your enthusiasm. Nonetheless, you've perked my spirits, and for that, I thank you. Tomorrow, I must ensure I hold the class's attention. I'll begin my lesson plan at once. Oh. Huh? Uh, is it over? <laughs> that man's voice is like a lullaby. I was asleep before I knew it. 
to be honest, I was kind of dozing off near myself. Bit tired right now. Anyway, we really gotta hurry now to the witch's house. Now, I'm hoping this game doesn't have the Harvest Moon um, or the Story of Seasons problem where the start of the game, like all the tutorials, will take me hours upon hours upon hours and make me bored of the game at first. Prince. Hey, hold up a sec, Prince. Since I'm a royal guard and all, I, I gotta remind you that there is these kind of uh, creepy beasties wandering around outside the town walls. You've already proven a dozen times that you can handle them just fine, but still, you wanna, you wanna, be, uh, wanna be careful, okay? All right, we get it. More careful than you were when you left the castle without this, at least. Oh, cool, we, we got a Dragon Lord's Blade. Also, might not be a bad idea to stock up on healing items before you go too far from town. The Jack of Jaw Trade should have you covered there. And if you need to take a breezer, Hotel Ele Elegance is a pretty swanky, good place to lie low for a bit and, and write in your journal, too. Yo! Anyway, if, you need your, if, you're, if you're sure you're ready, we'll, we can head out anytime. Just, just doing my job, you understand? Okay. Oh, oh, his voice is going to kill my throat. Skill levels up are based up um, levels up as battles are won, and leveling their skills important improves is. Oh my goodness, can't read it now. And leveling a skill improves its, its might as well as its range. Some very powerful skills require the presence of another party member to use, indicated on the skills list listing, for a picture of that character's face. These are known as pair skills and are learned for the story progression. Note that pair skills are not leveled up. Okay, cool. Okay, some status elements inhibit per, uh, uh, inhibit pair skills. Okay, so maybe we should probably go and stock up on some items. You would think at the start of this, they would have been like, "Oh, by the way, Prince Pedro, before you head out, you should go shop up shop, shop front for some items." We'll do just that. Um, all right, welcome to the Jack of All Trades. What will it be? Uh, we only have a hundred gold. Why did you recommend we buy stuff when we're dirt poor? Why are we the prince of this of Popola Croix when we can't even afford? anything really right now we should have we should have money coming out of our eyeballs well probably not i guess we're only 13 so i guess this king is probably ruled by a regnant or a regnant whatever it's called oh hey don't you want to make your record of your progress before you go okay save progress sure oh, am i only allowed to have one save data that we'll find out when the time comes this is make it really hard for me to review this game because i do plan to review this game as well along with this let's play um so we probably play this a lot more in my spare time Ooh, treasure chest Okay, we attained the penicillin. Penicillo. All right, that sounds pretty cool. Oh, a random battle, I guess. All right. Ooh, okay. Engage the enemy. Move attack. Pick a location and press the A button to move. If an enemy is in range, you will also attack. Skills like a skill if you wish to use, like an item you wish to use. Run, attempt to flee, not always successful, and you might drop money as you escape. Press start during battle to toggle between manual and auto modes. Okay. Sometimes there is no escaping a fight. All right. So move and attack. So, oh, okay. So this is a bit of. Um, I guess you can say like. The, uh, the Tales of series from the combat? I mean, it's turn-based, yeah. Oh, okay, <laughs> you just, like, beat him on the head, and there he goes. Move and attack. And yeah. go for that. Okay, Gomer, you're supposed to be, like, an advanced guard. How could you only do that much damage to that thing? We, we, we took it out in one hit! And you're, all, and you're a level higher than us. Well, well, now we're the same level. I mean, how strong is that sword that you gave us? Holy cow. So yeah, I'm kind of glad I kind of turned the encounter rate right down. I don't know, I may have to turn that up. I need to like grind them for some levels or some stuff. But uh, yeah, nope, more random battles. I feel like that it'll, it'll get to the point where I may want to cut out random battles. Oh, it seems like there are things that can obstruct your path in the middle of the battle. All right, that seems to be a lot of fun. Um, okay, let's move on. Okay, so wait, can we, um, oh, we can't do anything. All right, ooh, skills. What skills? Ooh, fire break, interesting. But we don't really need to use that right now. Or maybe we do. It's called a pot roach. I mean, can we can we eat you? Like, are you edible, Mr. Pot Roach? All right. All right, cool. Battle is won. All right, so hopefully we can get to our destination without getting into too many more battles. Assuming we're going the right way, uh, we could be going completely wrong, for all I know. No, we're in the Flannel Forest. A very interesting tune we have playing around too, as well. Are right, we attain the Mirror Seal? All right. So, we're, so, basically our goal right now is to find our witch friend. But I really have no idea where we're going from here. So, oh, okay, uh, let's take a skeleton-like thing for, uh, okay, or not. My uh, circle pad was being like, nah, let's, let's not be specific on who you want to attack. Like, seriously, uh, you should be able to do more damage than that. 
Oh, it's sexy. Can't only... It'd be nice if you attack both of them, but oh well. Battle Ant. Alright. Alright, move and attack. Alright, he's dead. Now, I think how it's going to work from now on, okay, nice level up, is that we're going to probably cut out battles if it gets to the point where they become very repetitive. So, yeah. Oh, maybe looking at the pathway... Ooh, a sign. Yep. Okay, front of the sign. Fairy Spring... Oh, Witch's House. Alright, we're going the right way. Let's head on down to the Witch's House, and hopefully we won't get into another battle, but I'm probably going to jinx myself like I did right there. Alright, so let's head on over to the Witch's House. Hopefully, we don't have to worry about any more battles. That shouldn't be the last one as we get to it. Ooh, what's this? Is that a healing spot, I guess? The game didn't explain it much, but oh well. Alright, we're almost at the Witch's House. This is actually a pretty, you know, pretty cool looking um, area, though. I wonder when we get more into the, um... More into the Harvest Moon type um, elements soon. Oh, here we are. This is where the witches of Flornal Forest live, huh? Prince. Oh, Gilda and her little sister, Narcia. Gilda's real scary, though. Don't want to get anywhere near her. She creeps me right out. She's not scary. She's actually very nice. <laughs> nah, that can't be. But Narcia, now she's nice. Graceful, refined, and a real catch. Hard to believe they're related. Oh my, do we get into a boss battle already? Okay, um, uh, well... Wait, so uh, can I not use a skill or... Okay, so... Okay, I have to, I have to choose a skill first. Fire break! Let's see what this fire break does. Only 58 damage. That was better off just sh like, slashing him in the head. What skills do you have? Oh, okay, you can heal. Interesting. Alright, wild swing. wild swing. A wide swing, not wild swing. Well, for, at least for him, that did more damage. Alright, Hellfire. That's not good. Ooh, boy, yeah. Alright, let's try this now. 190 damage. How much XP does this thing have left? Or HP? Actually, now I want to see, is there a way to see... Oh, that was auto. I don't want auto. Is there a way to see how much HP the enemy has left? Because I'm not seeing it on the screen. Ooh, a critical. Well, it doesn't matter now. It's dead. Our Pietro has learned Wind Splash. Awesome. <sighs> You're seriously amazing, Prince, man. Don't know what would have <laughs> I would do without you. Okay. <clears throat> I'm done with that voice. My throat is pretty much destroyed. Hmm. Well, that's what you get for coming to visit a scary witch like me. <laughs> I figured I'd give you the reception you were expecting. <gasps> Kilda! Welcome, Prince Pietro. It's been some time. Today's your birthday, isn't it? What brings you out here on such an important day? <gasps> my, my! What a lovely scent! Are those for me? Uh, um... Meh, I'm just pulling your leg. <laughs> I'm not that naive. They're for Noxia, right? Regrettably, she isn't here right now. She's out running an errand for me. Of sorts. Oh, no need for the long face. She'll be back before the day is out, and I'll make sure she gets your present. And if she gets back early enough, maybe I can bring her by the castle for a visit. <laughs> Something wrong? I've been seeing you, Nar Narcy. I don't even know how they pronounce that. Narcia flying all around the place lately. So, what's something's going on? Eh, just looking into some recent developments. You've heard of the Black Beasts, haven't you? Yeah. Those freaky pitch black monsters have been showing up around here these past few weeks, all covered in spiky thorns and stuff. Their appearance has raised some questions, so we've been seeking answers. But you, you should be getting back, no? For the party? 
Oh, you're right. I really do have to go. Thanks, though, Gilda. It was good to see you again. Wait just a moment. I can send you send you back with my magic if you're so inclined. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah, I don't want to go for all those battles again. And presto. My my. I must say though, these flowers really do have a wonderful smell. Well now. All right, and we're back at the castle gate. So I feel like I'll do it for now. So next time on Let's Play Return to Popola Croix, a story of seasons fairy tale, we shall be going and celebrating our birthday party, so to speak. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave us, you know, a comment down in the comment section below, letting me know what you guys think of the series so far. And also be sure to check out my Let's Play of Stella Glow, which is continuing, which is still ongoing on my channel. And as always, everyone, this is Gamma Lad signing off.